is Mike Aloya with American Hearts Radio Entertainment Network, and I am so proud and happy to be here with my brothers in Christ, Mr. Tim Modern with TSM Cares, and his partner, Tim Chambers, the Saluting Marine. How you guys doing? Doing good. Well, I tell you what, uh, there's a lot of good things that we're going to be doing here soon, and I just want to say thank you for everything that you guys do. Um, tell us a little bit about TSM, uh, Mr. Modern. Well, I met, I got the pleasure of meeting Mr. Chambers years ago and was able, he gave me the honor to volunteer and help him. And I told him back then that I wasn't a veteran, and he told me, he said, well, it doesn't take anything to serve the ones that did serve. So I got behind him 100%. Um, he opened his arms up to me, took me under his shoulder, made me the patriot that I am today, and he was in the process of starting a charity, and I will let Tim take it from there. All right. He is the founder of the charity. And you are the co-founder? Yes. All right, we're going to zoom in on Mr. Chambers, and you are in California, correct, sir? Yes, study California, San Diego area. You're in San Diego? Yep. And um, thank you for your service, sir. I just want to say that. And thank you for everything you do. I want to ask one thing. How did you get involved and what came into your heart to do what you do as the saluting Marine? Well, it started a long time ago and just people learn more about my life, they get to, to um, see that and if, if you talk to my classmates, the people I grew up with, to my teachers, to the coaches, to the first Marines I got to serve with, I've always had a level of enthusiasm. Um, I've always been a mascot growing up on the farm, four than six, helped my mother with six brothers and sisters. So I've had that enthusiasm of giving and being their brothers. The Marine Corps Volunt told us, and then I started volunteering, and I saw the satisfaction I got from actually helping others. The Marine Corps, we honor our history, and that's why we stand so proudly, you know, and flag beans. And so it just kind of evolved, you know. I, I saw the likes of me by, and I wanted to make a difference and make them feel like they've, they're not forgotten. And, a lot of them weren't thanked. You know, obviously it started in the Korean War, and I knew what a salute meant. It was about respect, you know, for each other. So I jumped out there, pumped up that salute. And my whole life's been about giving them. That's what it ultimately comes down to. Way before I was known by anyone, my grandma was with me. We were giving back to the community. Our youth was fortunate veterans. Those are the three pillars that I've given to, that I feel we need to. We need to come together to improve the quality of life for those three things. So, so many years ago, I created a charity I didn't do anything with because I was an active duty Marine called Tim for America. As a joke, I thought it'd be like I'd be campaigning for down the road, right? TFA, it needs to be three letters, like certain charities are. And they didn't change. I thought, well, stand for, oh, I was going to be leave no man behind, but I didn't want the women to feel left out, even at the end of woman is, is man. Um, then they evolved in TSM, well, stand for vets. I thought, well, that's, that's quick. That sounds good. Um, but then people didn't understand it was me doing it. Tim, the saluting Marine, doing the charitable work. So I found, well, that about just the saluting Marine cares, kind of like GoDaddy.com as GoDaddy cares. And it doesn't take a nonprofit status to be doing things, because my whole life I've been doing things. The only reason why I became a charity is so I can tap into companies and do more things, because I don't have time to fundraise. I'm out there all over the country supporting other charities, helping them make a difference in the communities. And that's where I, I'd rather be no other place, don't get me wrong. But that's the only reason why I'm working with to make work with companies someday to be able to make a bigger impact. And Tim said, Tim, why aren't you a, why are you with the government a nonprofit yet? I'm like, I don't have time to slow down to do this, to do what I'm doing, because I'll do it regardless. I don't need a status to, to do good in our country, do good for others. So Tim really pushed me to get that 501c3 status. 
Now, with that, we've helped some veterans with unaffordable dental, because I feel that's the basic necessity. I don't believe in field trips and backpacks. I have not done a whole lot. We have helped somebody. We have partnered with some dentists. We changed some lives, so we didn't go. But on the side of that, I'm just trying to live life, figure things out, pour cherries all over the country, continue my mission as a saluting Marine. And that's what I'll be doing this Sunday, even though there's no ride. And if I'm jumping ahead, please let me know as far as how this is going, sir. You're doing great, brother. I'll tell you what, for those who don't know who the saluting Marine is, Explain to them exactly what you do at these events. Well, Rolling Thunder was started by Vietnam veterans 32 years ago. It's about getting the government to do more to get accountability and closure. So they do this ride in D.C. I was stationed there. I was actually educating people about the Korean War as a partner with the Korean War Commemoration Committee. I thought, next year I'm coming out my blue boots. I'm going to give out some hugs and handshakes. Learning about our history, so I'm wondering about aimlessly. The bikes are zooming by. I didn't really know it was Rolling Thunder. I didn't know completely about it, but I saw a bunch of veterans riding. And I wanted to thank them before they died, because the only time I'm thanking veterans is at funerals. And that's too late for me to thank them for their service to our country. In many cases, they were never, ever properly recognized, whether the operations were classified or not. And then America turned their teeth to them. And then more people had it. I don't think she went after the government, not this, the people who were forced to go do things in the Vietnam War. So I thought the current pop up is that the highest form of respect that you can show to another person. The bikes rolling around me, I find tears rolling down their faces. Hour after hour, I'm sweating, I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to make it. But every time the bike would roll by, I'm going to stop. Thank you. You held your. I see, you I held it. Revving up the I see them saluting me back. At the end of it, both sides street rushed me and said, thank you, Marie, for giving me my welcome home. And I've been there every year since for 18 years. 18 yes. years, wow. That's amazing. And you stand and salute sometimes for four hours at a time, correct? The longest was five and a half. That was the year the World War II Memorial was finally dedicated. And the first few years, they didn't know my name. And that was cool. Unidentified Marine Salute Spikers in the paper. Then people found me, and I'd hear my name, and that felt good. And now it's the expectation of it that weighs heavy upon me because I I know what it means to so many walks of life that don't even make it to DC that have just seen it through social media, that have heard about it, and it helps touch their lives, helps inspire them to overcome their adversities. I would never in a million years thought that that would mean something with someone that's not even in the military is dealing with illnesses, for instance. And he said, Tim, I saw you, and you inspired me to, to deal with my illnesses, not give up on them. There was a Vietnam veteran that rode him because he wanted to be near his friend because he was about to kill himself. And he said that when he rolled around me, it like cleared his head to like snap tumor. And his friends didn't know that was going to be the last time they were in a seat. Wow. And he just shared that with me yesterday. That's, uh, I tell you what, brother, you're touching my heart here. I'm about, in, I'm about to go into tears here. Because I realize that the simplest act of patriotism and standing there and just your presence means so much to so many people because you represent what America is and it's a beautiful thing and I know that God has his hand upon you brother and that's another question I want to ask you how does the faith in God and Jesus Christ play in your life with what you're doing well I, you know I mean, obviously I have faith in that. I know that he's been the strength behind all of my endeavors. I mean, how did I ride a motorcycle 700 miles straight without even getting on one ever, barely got the license to be there at the grave site with the loved, with the woman that was buried or stuck. Um, and he's prepared me for things through sometimes not so nice things that happened in my life. Um, but I, I don't want to be a hypocrite. 
You know, um, I was given a book by, by James McCartney in Texas, he's a preacher, and he gave me, you know, the arsenal. But I reach into it. I try to be there to enlighten people, to inspire them. I feel like I'm not worthy of that book. You know, um, if anything, it's kept me very humble. And we need to have faith. We need to find faith. Amen. And especially these days, with everything that's going on, somehow I'm a symbol of that for others. I, I'm not a good Christian, you know, um, so it's hard for me to really be on any soapbox about it. But well, I tell you, brother, I, you're a child of God, and we're all children of God, and God gives us missions in this world. And I believe that you are following God's calling. You've been called to be that man out there to represent those men and women that are fighting for our freedoms because we are one nation under God. And I am so grateful and thank you for this moment just to be able to talk with you. And I thank God for you, brother. I just want to say that. And your partner, Tim, has a question. Tim, you were talking about the gentleman, and you've shared it with me many times about the soldier that, you, you know, you got on the bike, you drove 700 miles, you looked like a crispy critter when you got done. Um, the moment I'll never forget, and if you will, just go into it a little bit, is when we contacted you here about Gunny, Gunnery Sergeant Cooper and what you did for him and his wife while you were here. And you totally surprised him. At, if you would, just tell a short little version of that. I think it would bless so many veterans. Well, he was dying of Agent Orange. He was in hospice. He had a friend reach out to me, ask if I could send him a photo and sign it. And people have asked for these things before. There's a, a living eulogy on YouTube that I did for one gentleman who died from leukemia. Well, I reached out to Tim and said, Tim, this isn't good enough. There's no way I'm just going to send him a picture. And Tim helped me get there to Georgia and walk in with similar to town the first day. And we spent a few hours talking. And then the next day I came in and I gave him a salute in my uniform. Kind of gave him his final salute. And then a few months later, he passed away. His wife called me. The dress blues, got all the medals mounted, and FedExed them right over. And got to be laid to rest where he wanted to be laid to rest in Newport. His son. And these kind of things come to me all the time. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm doing things on my own. I find a way where there's a will and there's a way. And I know there's a need. And I'm here for that reason, like you said. It is a ministry of sorts, people have said, because I spend time with people. And that's just one of the many instances that show initiative and show maybe I feel fitting that I can say I'm a Christian. Or I can say I can sit at a table with my fellow brothers and sisters that are combat veterans. And know that I am honoring the eternal sacrifice, not letting it go with pain. Amen. And Amen. I, Tim, I, tell them. Excuse me, Tim. Tell them about your experience at the Pentagon on 9/11, the day the plane crashed into yes. it. Please. I just walked out of the Pentagon after all that. The meeting along the Arlington National Cemetery, the first sergeant of the Marine Corps birthday ball. The plane flew by our window. The impact. The ground shook. We ran down the hill. I thought all my Marines were dead. We spent three days going through the rubble, pitch black darkness, looking for anything that we could find. I call it providing closure for victims' families. Then I went home and fell into a coma, woke up, went outside, and someone planted a flag next to my white outfit and my boots. That uplifted my spirits because at that time I was feeling very heavy. I got on the metro. The first person I saw was the first person who took out of the Pentagon, but he was alive. I got, I, I got drawn to the, to the uh, victim's family. I went to a hotel to volunteer, and I got put in charge of the daycare. And I had about 30 people to look for all they wanted to all be removed by the end of the day. I got to see pictures of the victims in their happy state. Then a year later at the ceremony, um, when they fixed that area at the Pentagon, I was up at the Grand Statements, and the family recognized me, and they pulled me down, and I got to sit with them. So that was very meaningful for me. 
That's um, I'm I'm just blown away, brother, at the things that you do, where you've been, what you've experienced, and all the hearts that you are touching. I am so honored, sir, to uh, just take a few minutes here and talk to you. I would like you to explain to everybody what you're going to be doing for this Memorial Day and how people can tune in and check it out. Well, like I said in the beginning, it's time we need to do more. Nothing's changing. Another year goes by. The families have no answers. There's no accountability for a missing in action. Veterans are still killing themselves at 22 or more a day. More needs to be done. It doesn't need to be a little screen at the bottom of the TV. So I'm going to make it come to life. I'm going to be standing for 24 hours in detention. I'm going to be saluting for 22 minutes the first hour. And then every hour after, I'm going to release it one minute as if we saved a life. We are going to be honoring all different walks of life with the narration of the sacrifice that served our freedoms. I'm going to maybe try to play music because I believe music adds a lot to everyone. Motivation, inspiration, reminds us of those times in our history. Amen. Those sacrifices men and women that went down range. And I created a pledge campaign to support the AMVETS. Icing on the cake, get more done, let's be efficient. All I'm asking is for 25 cents an hour that you donate, that you pledge for my 24 hour stand attention to be given to the AMBETS that have been impacted by COVID 19 because they hire veterans, they help veterans, like it's veteran service officers. So it's been very tough for them. I know it's been tough for a lot of people. And it's very asinine to do a fundraiser in this time. That's why I'm just asking for 25 cents. You know, as much as it is that you support financially to help the vets, it's more of you support me. Are we in this together? Can we help me? Okay, I feel with a clear conscience to ask for 25 cents an hour from anyone that cares. How can people... Do you do it? How can in people... Honor of, in honor of the sacrifice, I'm not going to let the government forget. They're going to see it. They're going to see some struggle. They're going to see some action. And I hope it fires them up to do more, because they have a key that unlocks promises. Why does it have to be unlocked? Why are we fighting when we come home? Amen, brother. You know what? Tell people how they can donate. Tell people how they can tune in this Memorial Day. And where? My saluting on Facebook page. My website's under construction at the moment. I'm hoping to have a landing page, but it will be a link will be at the very top of the saluting. Facebook page. The Saluting Marine now, Facebook page. It'll be from Sunday to noon to Monday. You're doing 24 and hours. I put off, you know, I had an appointment with the VA finally. I have a ruptured Achilles tendon. Wow. I'm going to have this when I get back. Okay. Government needs to see it. They don't see the struggle all over the country. The adversity. They don't see it, so they don't feel it. They need to feel it, not just see numbers. I'm hoping they're going to see something and feel something as I represent our country. Amen. I tell you what, I am so happy and honored and proud to be on board because we're going to help you every step of the way, brother. You know, we've got to unite, strengthen numbers. And I just want to yes. let you know something. I was born on Memorial Day, 1964. All right. Wow. This is a God thing. Tell them about the radio station for 30 minutes. So we have to call in. TSM24, if you Google that, the Pledge It website will pop up. What did, what did you say? Just, uh, about the radio stations? Minutes. About the... Um, oh, yes. Whenever we do, and the footage that you get for what you're doing, we want to be able to take and document everything like we discussed, and then we'll put music on it on the radio as well and blend all that in for you so we're what you're getting ready to do on memorial day we're going to document and push out there and we're going to keep pushing and we're going to get to the government we're going to get to trump we're going to get to whoever we need to get to to get our veterans more help and be aware of all of these wonderful souls that are taking their own lives 22 how many a day that's what they say, but 
what 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 went on that didn't get like unreported stuff. You know what I mean? Yes. And we just need to do more. We need to up the ante. We're not doing enough. The same thing's happening. We're not changing. We're not. Nothing's shifted. Well, people need to stop turning a blind eye to the reality of what's happening. And that's what we're here to do. We are on a mission for God. And I just want to say thank you, brother. Tim, is there something you'd like to say before we close this out? Yes, if you would explain to him how you felt that you want to give us a 30-minute segment to where we could interview, we could have Tim. Oh, yes, up. we're, we're going to work on creating a web television series with your partner, Tim Modern, hosting that. We'll have call-ins, we'll be able to interact, have have different people come in and in interviews, we can and we'll get you set up on a bigger monitor to where we can really make this dynamite in a very professional production. And I just, I am so humbled right now, I'm feeling the Spirit of God coming through me because, brother, I have the utmost respect for you and I am so grateful for you and your brother Tim for doing what you guys are doing. Uh, before we close out, is there something that you'd like to say to everybody watching? Give some words of inspiration. This weekend, it is coming fast. It is not a time to We just need to be more remorseful. Remember what this weekend symbolizes? That's right. Even though every every day we should cherish what we have and not forget the price for it. Well, I'll tell you what, brother, I'm gonna back the camera up and I wanna get your partner in the picture. Yeah, bend down a little bit there, Tim. And I got a whole comment I'd like to make when we can. Go ahead. We are planning something very big for Clay County this coming year. Yes, we are. And just, we will be doing updates constantly, and you will be surprised as to what we are going to be doing. I'm just asking people to pray about it and to pray for Tim because this will be something that I believe Clay County, Florida has never seen. Well, you know what? What we're getting ready to do, Tim, I believe we can take nationwide. And I just want to salute you, brother, for what you're doing. I'd like to give Tim, go ahead and salute, man. I want to thank you guys. And God bless you and your families and all of our veterans. In Jesus' name. Thank you, brother. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Amen. Super fine. Thanks, Tim. I really appreciate your time, buddy.